Hello everybody, Ali Duzet here, and yesterday I talked about Mercury Retrograde and I gave us some good exercises on how to use the powerful energy that's happening right now to reevaluate everything that has brought us to where we are right now so that we can make new decisions that help us propel ourselves into the future more effectively. And today I wanted to talk about something that my husband always talks about, which is ignoring sunk costs. Okay. This is a concept that my husband got from his freshman economics class way back when uh, in college, and his professor would always hammer it home, you have to ignore the sunk costs. And I talked about this yesterday, but I didn't use that terminology. A sunk cost is a cost that you have paid for something that um, it's done. You already paid for that. Um, and humans are obsessed with sunk costs. We care. We care so much. Um, I want to give you an example. Okay, so, um, I mean, Gaul, anything that you buy that had a cost to it, that's your sunk cost. And when you decide, when you make your decisions based on what you have already paid for something, that is the sunk cost. So I see this a lot, um, you know, like, just to be clear, I personally um, think it's better to make a marriage work uh, then to, like, I don't think divorce should be the first choice. But that's what I'm saying. But um, the length of time that you've spent in your marriage is a sunk cost. And a lot of people keep making a dysfunctional or even an outright abusive, including a physically abusive marriage. They make it keep working or keep going because it's the sunk cost. Well, I, I was already with him for 20 years, so I should keep going because that's 20 years of my life, you know? Or you see this with... Um, you know, colleges where you like, you've put in four years for this degree. Well, and now you woke up and you actually want a different degree. Um, the sunk cost is, you know, all the time that you already put in to getting a degree and now you want to switch degrees. That's your sunk cost, right? Um, I talked about my apple tree yesterday and the apple tree is my sunk cost. I already sunk five years into this apple tree. Do I give it another 20 years so that it can live its best life as an apple tree? Or do I cut it down so I can put in a trampoline so my kids can bounce during the day? Um, what what do I do? Well, the apple tree is the sunk cost. So my husband always says, ignore sunk costs. And that doesn't mean that you don't, that, that doesn't mean that you, you know, throw everything that you have sunk your investment into to the wind okay i'm talking money i'm talking time i'm talking emotions okay if you have a friend that you have loved for so many years and now it's like i i can't i don't want to hang out with you anymore but i spent all these years with you that's the sunk cost right i sunk 20 years of my life into being friends with you do i want to continue in the future um the idea to me is not that we just throw away everything that we've sunk that we've sunk our costs into. It's that as we are evaluating what to do next, we cannot let ourselves be beholden to the cost. Okay. Um, I, you know, in my own life, I do consider the cost of, of the things, you know, um, how much time and how much effort and how much money and how much energy went into a thing. I do take that into consideration when I'm, you know, figuring out what I'm going to do next, especially when humans are involved. Um, but we, we take those things into account and we also give ourselves permission to not let the past hold us captive in the present, okay? So what if you spent 20 years of your life being a computer programmer? If today you wake up and you feel like if you look at another computer program, you will die and you just need to pick up a paintbrush, pick up the paintbrush. Just because you spent 20 years doing something does not mean that you have to be beholden to that for the rest of your life. That is the concept. When you are making a big decision, the job is not to, we don't have to feel, you know, enslaved to perpetuating the past just because it's the past, just because you sunk a ton of money into it, just because you sunk a ton of energy into it, just because you sunk a bunch of your life into it doesn't mean you have to keep doing that forever. Okay, we are allowed to set ourselves free from that. We are allowed to take a step back, view it from a higher perspective and say, okay, um, so I put 20 years of my life into that. Um, can I honor those 20 years and say 20 years, you, you were great. Or maybe you weren't great. Maybe you were terrible. Maybe this was a terrible 20 years, but I did put those 20 years in and I honor the work and effort that I put into this. And now it's time for a new chapter. 
and I'm going to move forward and change the chapter, even though maybe it means that all of the money I put into that was, you know, worthless or like I didn't use it, you know? Um, we just have to make sure that our decision making is not held captive by our perceptions of how much we've already invested into a thing. Yesterday, I talked about how it is never too late to start to start over or to start something new. And as I'm talking today, I'm thinking of the people that I know that start taking ballroom dance lessons when they're 75. You know, they're starting um, piano lessons in their 80s. You know, I had a uh, there was a man in my neighborhood some years ago who did that. And he he just said, you know what? I want to start piano. Yeah, I'm in my 80s. Like, guess what? Got to start somewhere. Got to spend my time somehow. Um, we can always start over. And maybe starting over comes with a lot of risks. But there are perhaps some benefits, too, that we can't see until we start to take that risk. So anyway, all of this is to say, whatever big decisions you have on your horizon, um, you know, you are qualified to make those decisions. We tune in with our creator and ask for God's divine insight. We think about what we want. We walk ourselves through, if I did this, what would happen? If I did that, what would happen? And we make a decision based on all of that stuff. And we release ourselves from the need to perpetuate past patterns just because they were past patterns, just because of the money, just because of the time, just because of the energy. So what if I sunk all of this energy, time and money into whatever? I don't need that to keep me tied to that in the future. I am allowed to kiss that goodbye, to forgive myself for any kind of guilt I might feel for having used my resources in that way in the past and pivot. It is always okay to pivot. And again, it can come with challenges, but sometimes the rewards are worth the challenge. And that is just something that is going to be up to each of us to figure out. So anyway, those are some thoughts that I wanted to have on your mind today. I hope that your day is beautiful and wonderful, as beautiful and wonderful as you are. So have a great day, guys. Coming out on Facebook if you want to, Intuitive Healing with Ali Duzet. Um, Don't forget to do your morning pages, and I will see you later.